In 2018, the member countries of the International Maritime Organization, short IMO, decided to reduce annual greenhouse gas emission, short GHG, from international shipping by at least 50% by 2050 compared to the reference year 2008, and to reduce CO2 emissions per transport work by at least 40% by 2030. It is the IMO's goal to cross oceans with zero GHG emissions by the year 2100 latest. Hapag Lloyd faces the challenges of sustainable shipping with even more ambitious goals. We are committed to operating our ships climate neutral by 2045. To get there, we have set ourselves an interim target for 2030, by which time we want to reduce the CO2E intensity of the entire fleet by 30% EEOI compared to 2019. Today's conventional fuels are not the energy source to achieve these goals. The shipping industry has options to bridge the gap between common methods of propulsion and the future of shipping. For now, liquefied natural gas or LNG is the best available transition fuel, emitting 15 to 25% less CO2 than low sulfur fuels. The downside, with fossil LNG we will not be able to reduce CO2 emissions enough to meet the IMO's targets. Instead, part of the future lies on biofuels, but even more, on alternative synthetic fuels. If produced with renewable energy, alternative fuels such as methanol or ammonia can be close to carbon neutral. However, before these types of fuels are ready to be used in maritime shipping, the industry has to invest time and money in research and additional infrastructure. After all, availability in the ports must be ensured. To achieve the targeted CO2e reduction, we will renew our fleet. With the conversion to dual fuel propulsion of our Brussels Express, we took a first major step, making us a pioneer in this area. Next to conventional fuels, this ship can now run on fossil LNG, but also on bio and synthetic methane. By operating ships with biofuel, we can further reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In 2020 and 2021, Hapag Lloyd reached another milestone on its decarbonisation journey and ordered another 12 new dual fuel ships with a capacity of over 23,500 TEU, equipped with dual fuel engines, making them ready for running on LNG and future alternative fuels.